I think it was after the second year. When I got back, I, I, I was kind of meddling around with the, just the thoughts of, of building something out of steel. And I said, you know, I, I know that I can build something that pleases me, and I think other people like looking at it too. I was going to have a regular stock on this. But then I thought, well, it just kind of came to me, gee, what could be better than to have a scrotum on a gun? It's not exactly something you see on the street every day. Besides the fact that the, the scope is aimed way to the left as a political statement, but it's, it's interesting that what happens here usually doesn't happen without this in reality. That's what motivated me to build this. <laughs> One of my motivations for creating this kind of art is being, with America being so polarized that you can't even have a discussion politically or, or socially about a lot of things with people. So instead of having the discussions, I just make this and people can think whatever they want, good or bad. One of the things that's nice about being retired, if you make something like this and it's well known with your real name and you're trying to find a job, when somebody looks on the internet, if they don't like what your political views are, you've got a good chance of not getting hired. So that's one of the ideal things of, of being retired at this age where I can still work on things, is I can pretty much do what I want and if anybody likes it, fine. If they don't like it, fine, but I'm not trying to find a full-time job either. So you can see it's pretty, pretty rigid. If I hang on this, hopefully it won't flip over on me. So this is what would typically happen up on the playa. This is a normal playa test to be playa proof. I was inspired enough to do something that I would have normally done because I don't like needles. I did get a Burning Man tattoo. I did it originally just the man and added the flames last year. So it was after the first time going to the playa. My kids think that's how I changed it. I would actually get a tattoo because they knew what I, they all have a lot of ink on them and I and my wife and they said I said well I'm finally inspired about something in my life to get a tattoo and that was Burning Man. But these are my, what I consider, that are contributing to the squeeze of America. Thrilled about the feedback. I think it's been excellent. I, I'm better than I expected, actually. But you worry about here that... I'll tell you well, about this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Not, not many people know about that. A lot of that, that issue doesn't make mean much to people in America anymore, and I think it's a big deal. I, I thought some of the younger people may not understand it right away, but anybody that's been through economic or social conditions in America seem to identify with it right away, and it's a lot of fun. And I, I do think it is a life-changing experience. It was for me because I never made art before I came here. Wow. That's a fact. What were you doing yeah. before that? I, I just always worked in, I, I'm retired, but I worked in industrial equipment, and I saw the art and the, imagina the imaginative type of art out here, and I said, I can do that.